Here is the preview video for Tuesday, April 27th. So yesterday, as you know, we did our review for the Module 5 end of module assessment, and today you're going to actually take the assessment. So um, everyone has hard copy, um, but this is what it looks like. And you're going to partition. It looks just like the review packet. It's five pages long. The last page, as you can see, it goes from A to E, oh, G, um, using this um, data table. So the chart shows that the data Amasha collected about butterfly wingspans. So these are all different kinds of butterflies, and this is their wingspan. As you can see, eighth, eighth, oh, halves, eighth, 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 fourths, eighth, halves, eighths. So I would think that you're going to need to convert all of them into eighths. And that is our math. Um, we're going to have math MCAS. Um, we're going to have MCAS prep. And we're going to read about Alex the Parrot. And it's based on, um, it's nonfiction, it's factual. After our special lunch and recess, you have teacher's choice for literacy. We're going to do oops, Lightning Thief Chapter 2. And um, there's no activity per se here, but we um, are going to continue with our character charts. We're adding more characters and um, you're, we're going to have a lot of discussion. Just wait for it. For writing, you're going to read a myth, Big Turtle, and answer some questions. So we have this myth as told by the Huron Indians. Um, it's two pages long, and then you're going to answer, what does the myth attempt to explain? What is the explanation for how Earth began? There's two characters and a specific character trait. How does the myth's beginning attempt to get the reader's attention? Find one example of engaging voice in the myth. Find one example of original word choice in the myth. And name two elements of Big Turtle that prove that it is a myth. So that is your lit um, writing for today. After snack, or afternoon snack, we're going to do the second day of the Northeast region. There are two days for each region. And again, there are some directions. And the second page is the topography of the Northeast. It has low mountains, rolling hills, and wide valleys. So you're gonna click on the globe to see Mount Washington, the highest point in the Northeast region. You're gonna search for the Catskill Mountains in New York. Um, I grew up near the Catskill Mountains. And then you're gonna search for the Finger Lakes. And there are more than five lakes, but there are five of them and they look like fingers. There are 11, lakes so technically it's like having it's more than two hands but um i actually went to college in the finger lakes on lake geneva so you're going to use the globe to visit those places mount washington it's in the white mountains which we saw last yesterday the catskill mountains and the finger lakes and then describe what the topography is like here okay next you're going to work on the climate and you're going to click on the globe to visit weather.com and you're going to type in today's temperature for each city and then find the average and then use the climate map and the temperature chart chart to describe the climate what is it like in january what is it like in july is there a pattern that you can see the population in 2019, the average population per square mile of the United States, the entire United States, was 92.9. How many states are more crowded than that? So if you look at this um, map legend, this map key, where is 92.9? That would be this, the third blue down. How many are darker than that? How many states? would you say? And are any states losing population? So you're looking for negative numbers and only Vermont, it would appear. And again, there's watch this video first. Trade. This is always so interesting. So 
this is, you're going to go to this website and it's pretty easy. Once you keep that tab open, you're going to type in the most popular or top export from that state. You're going to be very shocked as we go through the different um, regions. You're going to see a pattern. So Vermont, you would type right here, obviously, Massachusetts. You're going to type here. So there, where it says type, that's where you're going to do it, obviously. And the most popular export in this region. So which you're going to look at all of them and what is the most common trade. And then this is just about the culture. And it's just telling about the New York style pizza, the seafood of the North Sea, the Freedom Trail in Boston, New York's Broadway, Washington, D.C., historical sites in Pennsylvania. So um, there's a lot to do today, but I know that you'll enjoy it. And um, you're going to learn a lot about the Northeast. Okay, so that is our Tuesday.